Right, we've looked at a few cool things you can do with Cal so far, but did you know we can actually control a second vessel for you, as long as it's in physics range? That's right, just call me Maverick, I guess. But how can we apply this to rocketry? Well, let's take a look. So if you caught my last video, you might remember me showing you this rocket that could take itself to orbit. So let's try launching three of them. Not only does this make for a really cool visual, it's an elegant way of proving the point that the physics range was extended all the way back in KSP 1.1 to 22 kilometers within atmospheric flight. Now, this range is carried out of the atmosphere for vessels that were launched together with diminishing returns, so we'll go over that in another video. So I'm sure a lot of you have already figured out especially if you watched my last video, what this means for Falcon Heavy and the double booster landing. So let's check it out. So in that last video, in case you didn't see it, we saw how Cal can land a booster for you. And what happens if you press play on two cals, they're within physics range of each other. Well, that way, greatness lies. Okay, so I definitely need to alter the timings a little bit, but I think as proof of concept goes, it's not bad. Anyway, if you're still watching, then thank you. Remember to hit some buttons, preferably the good ones, and hopefully I'll see some of you next time.